All right, so right now we're trying to build up wealth. So anybody that's watching here, I think we're doing pretty good. Top right corner, we're almost at two thousand dollars. We're trying to expand that next this next corner, but it's gonna be extremely expensive, and I'm trying to avoid taking any loans. Kuzo, it's good to see you again. Welcome back. Happy Easter to you. It's been a long time, but I've been super busy, but we're back. We're back. So we're on it. I hope that you enjoy this, Kuzos, as usual. Supermarket. And right now, how we have this laid out, Kuzos, this can't be legal. This cannot. Like, look at the spacing right here. This cannot be legal. Same, same thing with this. Is this the same store as last time? Yeah, this is the same one. I, I've been playing this, like, off stream, like, over the past week. Um, not too much changes. The only changes that you might notice between this time and last time is extra shelves that are probably put in, like, locations that now make this place, according to the building code, not legal. <laughs> Roll, sorry about that. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Happy Easter. All right, here we go. Let's see how we do here. Man, people are so buying stuff after the hour. But I need their cash, so I'm going to wait for the last couple people to wrap up. But yeah, Rose, do you have any plans today? <laughs> no, we're debt-free. So my plan is that we're going to expand the store without taking a loan. Because the loans get stressful. You've seen it, Kuzos. It's, it's just not worth it. I mean, you know, you take a loan to do things faster. But I feel like we're at a point where we're not in a rush to do anything so let's not put the stress in this grocery store didn't pass the building inspection makes no sense it does make sense i mean like look check this out so you go in you got your fridges over here on the right and you got you know tight spacing over here um but then this area is just this cannot be legal so anyways you gotta do i, I might actually push this closer to here because like this you can see we, we could spare a couple space right now I think that's the last person. Let's go ahead and reap in our... We're day 70 into this. We're doing really good. Oh, I forgot to pay the bills. Let me pay those real quick before they start taking, like, whatever. Right here. So, we're going to go to management. Bills. Oh, crap. We got hella... That's 100. Wow, we've been, we've been skipping our bills, but I think we're... We're up to speed now. <sighs> Growth. See, this one's going to be 6,700. We're at 1,700. I feel like we should... You know, let's take a loan. Hold on. What's what's the loan? Where's the bank? $5,000? We could. I think we can. Uh, let's... Y'all want to do this? And then the daily payment is 458 I think we can, yeah, let's do it. Let's take the loan. Let's do the loan, because I think we can make this work. We're at the point of no return at this point. Now we're going to finally expand the store. This is going to be stressful. 6,700, and we're at 6,794. You just said no loans. Okay, exception. This is the only exception that we're going to do for the loans. And then after, because I, I really need this last corner, because it's getting, look at, look at the store. This is, this is illegal. This is... Stuff like this. Even I, I even trap my employees behind walls. They have to jump over if they have to use the restroom. Like this is, this is not normal. We'll take the loan one last time. We got to do. Uh, no worries. I planned this all out. This is all planned. So we're gonna purchase that. Yes. Yes. We we got it. We got it. We're free. We can expand the store now. Yes. Holy moly, dude. We're gonna. Hold on. Let's not. Let's not open the store yet. We got to fix this uh, layout real quick. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We officially just saved the business. Sometimes you have to take the loan. Now my worry is that we might not be able to pay this. Oh, come on. This can't be it. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. No, what the heck? Did we just run out of space? Oh, we have to shift everything over. No, we maxed our space out. Because that, that's already in this corner here. Oh, no. This can't be it. I'm trying to figure out. There's... What? I'm trying to cram into every possible space I can. Maybe this is the problem.
Come on. Are you kidding me? This is this is tight. I need that space there. There has to be a better way. Ooh, this is tough. I, I don't know. I have no idea how to reconcile this right now. I mean, let's do that. Ah, this is tight, man. We could move this here. Is that? Yeah, I think I think that works. I just need to fit this back. If I can fit this somehow in this corner, then we're solid. Like you see how how we just can't fit it in there. I thought we ooh. Oh my. I, I'm like really salty right now. Like, I can't get this to fit. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Well, I guess we could fit a fridge there. So let's just, you know, we're going to maximize every possible space. We're going to like literally do this right now. I think at this point, we got to do what we got to do. We're going to just do this. We're gonna make the tightest spacing because this is gonna take us a while to recuperate the to recoup the funds that we're using to build the store up. <sighs> I gotta move a couple things back. This is too tight. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, I like this. What else can we do here? I kind of like the store as is. I guess we'll move a bit of this over here. make it work all right yeah I, uh, wow this store is looking good look at that we're doing really good now we gotta like I don't know uh, hmm. I don't like this part right here. This is this is too too tight. I'm trying to turn this into a legal spacing store. Like I don't want to trap my employees anymore. Like this is this needs to, you know, come to an end. There we go. There we go. That's it. This store is now going to pass building inspection. Holy moly. Actually, I got a better idea. I should have done this from the beginning. We should have done this. Let's move them further back. You know? Let's move them further back. I can move the fridge like so.
I am liking this so much more better now. Like this is this is it. I think we've found the solution. I don't like this. Let's do it like I, I I don't know. This is tough. Even with all of this, I, I still feel like I'm, we're too tight for space right here. We could do something like this, but I want to keep it kind of consistent, like all the fridge stuff in one area. How do we reconcile this? How do we reconcile this, guys? I don't know. Unless we do this. Let's get creative. Watch this. You're going to be like, Sock, you're a genius. This is going to be like the most illegal thing we've ever attempted in this game. It's going to be so cramped. I don't like this at all. I don't like this layout. Way too tight. No, I don't like it. We're we're changing it back. Let's do this. Let's give the fridge more space. I don't think we have to put shelves everywhere. We could just make it kind of like up to our comfort level. Hey, Richie, welcome back. I'm back indeed. How are you doing, Richie? I've been so busy with real life stuff, but you know, it's good to be back. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. at the moment but this makes me happier awesome i hope you feel better too i haven't been feeling too good too the past few days but i should be fine in the next few days but yeah let's let's get the supermarket going so right now our goal today we just took a massive five thousand dollar loan and we're starting from square one now we have to rebuild our wealth top right corner of the screen there we're, we're gonna start at 94 dollars once we begin this work day here we pretty much have to pay off in addition to the the bills and like the rent that we have to pay for this store we have to pay off that five thousand dollar loan average day's profits go for about seven hundred dollars so we should hypothetically be okay but we're going to be in debt for the next like seven working days in this game and yeah that, that corner you know up uh, us opening that next that new corner there it really changes things for the better. And you know what? Let's move this over here to kind of give, I don't know. It feels too cramped. I'm trying to make this less cramped and, you know, kind of like legal. <laughs> if that makes sense. Hey, Naughty, welcome back. This is such a fun game. You took a loan. I was trying not to, but I really needed that corner to unlock because it was getting very tight. Like there are shelves everywhere. There's no way that this is legal. So let's go ahead and open this up because I I can't really buy any restocking. Oh, no, we can. Let's buy some cheese. <laughs> we're just out of space and we're out of cash at this point. Like, I'm going to use everything I got to buy cheese. And I don't even have enough. No, this is bad. I don't even have enough cash to pay the, the guys who are helping me restock too. Because I have to pay them like 80 bucks per person a day. <laughs> I think we'll be fine though. I think this game is all about the loans, you know, like that. This is how you gotta win it. Like you have to take the loan if you want to do things fast. It's a risk, 
but it's worth the risk. Because in America, we take risks. High risk, high reward. <laughs> Look at the top right of the screen. $13. We're going to go bankrupt. If we can't pay this off in like three days, we're screwed. You never did take loans? And you did great? Really? Wait, what level, what level is your store now? This guy better be buying a lot. Oh, he's buying the coffee or the tea? Heck yeah. Now look at the store. This is... Oh, we're running low on the susus. Uh, we need more of this... The pasta? Oh, shoot. I need more bread. My shelves are just all over the place. There's like no consistency. But I hope we can fix this. How's their Easter going, Naughty? Oh, the restockers are doing their work. Look, we got $41 top right of the screen. I think we should be doing fine now. At this point, we might... Ooh, they're buying a bunch. I think we're running low on oil. Yeah, we need some more oil. Like 77 bucks. We're not doing too good there, but we gotta like refill what we gotta refill. The good news is that we set ourselves up for success. Before we took this five thousand dollar loan, we actually expanded the storage here. And we got a bunch of new racks in case we get a bunch of boxes. You know, that we, basically I'm trying to take a proactive approach where if things need to be refilled, we have we already have the boxes ready. Now we're up $149. We're in we're in the good zone right now, but eventually we're gonna have to pay off. Like let's go over right here. Management bills. Oh shoot, we're doing good. We're we're all set. Okay. False alarm. Now what we could do. <sighs> I don't know if this is 470 to 900 complete checkout right here this cashier three i would like a third cashier if we get a third cashier we're gonna be making so much profit it'll be like a game changer i'm trying to figure out what we need i, I feel like we already have everything well it's coffee i think we're oh, running low on coffee but, but you know what the problem is coffee is expensive to get let's get bread and coffee The good news is that bread is super cheap. We're going to purchase all that. We're going to buy a bit of coffee there. Super expensive, but much needed purchase to get this going here. I want my restockers to be doing work. So I'm going to just put the stuff here and let them just, you know, walk through the stuff here to restock. You got you to gotta utilize them. You got to utilize them because you're paying like 80 bucks a day just to have them. You can put in... You can put the computer in this. Oh, you can? Oh, the reason why I keep it out there is because I, I it's more efficient for me to have it set up here. Like, I order, and then I, boom, I go, like, take it from here, then put it in there. Rather than if I put the, you know, the, the computer here. I I don't know. It's more... I, I like seeing the boxes fly over to my left right there, visually. That's why I, I put it there the way I did. <laughs> Look, we're already at $400. We're doing great. The loan... This loan's no problem. We're going to, like, totally beat this game. We're doing extremely good. Let's take that. I'll put some more here. The thing I wish is that it will be automated where the restockers would pick up any item you ordered from the street and you know put them on the rack or restock because right now you see all these boxes on the street the the restockers i guess they're not programmed to detect if, you know a new shipment arrived so like this is the the downside about this game if and this is this is what i think if they put the system where any order you make is automated where you're your workers would just pick them up and put them in the storage you would not even have to touch the game anymore you would just all you would have to do is order and then let the restockers do all the work it, it's probably the best thing ever to just kick back and relax 
Oh, I forgot. I need lights back there. So that's what we need to invest in. For me, I value the um, the comfort of the shopper. So I want them to see. So let there be light. still too dark i need like more light around here like i don't care if this increases the electricity bill for the store i'm all about the shopping experience i'm gonna do everything it takes to make sure that the shoppers love the environment that's what you gotta do there's a saying the customer is always right do you guys believe in that statement I think the workday is almost over. I need to make one last purchase. You know what? We're going to buy more furniture. Let's buy uh, a fridge. No, no, no. I don't want that. No, 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 no. E, I don't like, I don't want that one. Buy one fridge for 375. And then we're going to put it right here. Good. Oh, we got a long line. The store is looking really good. Looks basic, but it, do, it does the job. I might need some more light here. I don't know why, but it's still a bit dark. This is the store I'm talking about. Very spacious once you walk in and you can just do the thing. All right, just wrapping this up. We got a bunch of people here. I might, you know what I, I'm, what I might need to do? I want to expedite this. I, I would check out myself. But the problem with the NPCs is that they just, they would just flock to the manual one, not the ones with the cashiers. And they would, even though there's two available cashiers, they, the how the NPCs are coded, that's the limitation. They they wouldn't know. That's why I'm hesitant to put a third cashier as myself, like for doing it manually. I could do it faster than the cashiers. It's just the problem with the system right now. I think they need to update that. Top right of the screen, we're at twelve hundred dollars, uh, approaching thirteen hundred dollars for profit. So we're doing really good. In terms of restocking, we need a bunch of that. So I'm gonna set that up right now so we can purchase that immediately the moment it goes. Couldn't find beer. Oh, we ran out of beer? Oh, shoot. Hang on. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the beer on, I think it goes in here. It could be a regular shelf item, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. We'll see how we do. But we're, it looks like we're going to be able to pay this debt off really quickly. I'm very hopeful. Couldn't find Covito's chips. All right, sir. Day 71. Total profit, negative 5,300. Start the next day. All right, these guys are literally doing nothing. Let's go ahead and make some purchases right now. I'm gonna maximize profit. Maximize, I'm telling you, maximize. Let the boxes fall. Let the three stockers go. Again, I'm all about the shopping experience for the people. Just 
going to quickly do this. And we're also going to have to pay the bills, unfortunately. Yeah, this I should not have taken the loan, but actually, I don't know. It's too late. There's no, there's no turning back. We have to pay the bill. What the heck is this? Oh, no. That's expensive. Rent is getting more expensive because we took off the, the took the loan. Why is this? Wait a second. What's going on here? Wait, how about this? If I take the, what if I just do a $750 loan and I use it to pay off part of the 5,000? I, I think we might do that. Use the loan to pay off the other loan. And then fingers crossed it works itself out. I'm pretty hopeful. Let's see what else we're missing. Right, something they, Somebody mentioned they couldn't find beer. What are they talking about? Oh, unless they're talking about this. Oh, there's this too. Let's sell some Kavitos chips. Ooh, that's expensive. Yeah. Where could I put this? Good. I need more shelves. I'm starting to realize, man, there's a lot of stuff we need right now. Good. Let's actually put this here. Let's buy some shelves. I'm all about Investing in nice furniture. Ooh. We might need to make this this other shelf here, even though it's completely illegal. We got to do this. Um, I really need, you know, an extra shelf. Oh. Okay. Let's let's do this. Wait, no, 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 let's, let's not do that. That's tight. Actually, you know, screw it, we're doing this. I gotta do what I gotta do. I don't, want, I don't like doing this, but I have to do this. I need shelves. Gonna fill all this up with the chips. Good. From there, I'm gonna put these in just so we have them ready to go. I think we're good to start. And yeah, we're legitimately poor right now. If we need to get a second cashier, that'll be five hundred dollars. Yeah, we I'm out of cash. We have to just wait till the customers start buying stuff in the next hour. Oh, I gotta set the price for this. Five eighty, I would sell this for six thirty. gonna check some prices out real quick that's gonna be we'll sell 370 oh no what's that 370 yeah 370 i'm really trying my best to make a good profit margin out of this Ooh, that's expensive Oh crap, I messed up. There's a lot of things I want to refill right now. I just don't have enough cash.
We'll let him buy everything. It says, couldn't find the beer. I don't even know. People are looking for beer, but I don't got it. I don't Actually, let's buy it. Products. What are they trying to buy? I think they're trying to buy these. That's $131. Hang on. Where do these even go? Whoa. That cost me 130 something dollars. This, I gotta sell this for a profit. Ain't no way. So 27 times six, let me do the calculator on that real quick. So if we do 27 times six, that's $162. So essentially, we only make a $30 total profit margin. And that, that, at that point, I don't think this item's worth selling. In the meantime, let's go ahead and check out some more things that we may have to refill. Oil's looking good. The candy's looking okay. Susus are running low. We need Susus right now. Let's restock in the Susus. Like so. Restockers are being idle again. Put them in there. All right, so far so good. It's our supermarket. Windows are covered by the shelving. We're doing really good. Got an empty shelf, what the? This person's just waiting in line, but they might actually go through the shelf. I am very curious to see if they go through the shelf. If they go through the shelf, I'm going to flip out. Oh, wow. They don't go through the shelf. I thought she was going to walk through like a ghost. They, they actually thought about that. That's really smart. Oh, we ran out of beer. Oh, crap. Hang on. Beer, 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 beer. Oh, that's expensive. Two of these. Is it worth? That's, at this point, is it worth selling the beer? Oh. Oh, very nice, very nice. That's a lot of beer. What's this green one we're running out of? We're out of the zap sodas. We'll buy five of those. A lot of this really entails just making sure the green, the sodas, and your other miscellaneous items are properly restocked at the right time. Sun's going down at around 6 o'clock now. You can see a nice sun ray right there. Got about two more hours or three more hours till closing. So we're going to turn on the lights now. It's getting pretty dark. We're going to have to fill out. Wow, they already bought those big kegs of beer. This is insane. Doing a quick double check around. Looks like we're running out of that other item too. You scroll down. This thing called a humus. And what else is there? Maybe some, some of that. Good. How much are you selling those for? I swear it said zero on the shelf. Oh, Kuzos, are you talking about this one? It's because right now there's no stock, so it shows nothing on it. But once I restock, it's going to show the 450 price tag. That's what you mean. I'll show you real quick. Let me just restock the beers. See that? The price tag just went back up. I'm going to let my restockers do, do some more work. I need to like really focus on other restocking tasks right now. All the beer kicks at zero is what well. that makes sense though. Yeah. 
So that those beer kegs that we just bought and that the customers literally just bought me out within like three minutes after the moment I put them on shelf. I might not buy it again. I mean, I, I'll buy it again, but like right now it's not, I don't know. We just sold out and in totality, when you buy a package, it, it, it costs 130 bucks. When you sell all six of those multiplied by whatever profit margin you're making, you're only making a net profit of $30, not worth. And something's off about this. I feel like I'm missing light somewhere. Oh yeah, I'm missing a row of lights here. Because like right here, it looks dark. It's too dark. <sighs> so on a side note, I'm trying to figure out more logistics for the Japan trip. It's getting tough. So Kuzo's, I think you were here that day when I was talking about the Japan trip. The problem now is that the Yokohama Gundam statue that I've been dying to go to, it's actually going to close. I think today's the last day. Like, what I thought was that the Gundam, the massive Gundam statue at Yokohama, I thought it was a permanent structure that, you know, it was like a tourist attraction. But apparently it was only made to be a temporary structure. Forever. Like, they're closing this down forever. Like, it, this was only like a seasonal thing. I was under the impression, because it's it's a huge Gundam. Like, they put it in front of a big, you know, platforms and stuff where, you you know, you pay for your ticket and you can go up the platforms to see this big, massive Gundam statue, you know, blow smoke and light up and stuff next to the sea. In my opinion, they should have just kept it permanent because that's a, that's a huge tourist attraction. But apparently, it's a temporary structure that beats me. You know, so be it, but... I'm pretty bummed out because I really I was really looking forward to going to that. That's like saying that's like saying Universal Studios is only temporary and that they're gonna permanently shut it down. <laughs> okay, maybe that's extreme, but that's how I felt about. Right, you know what? Let me search this up right now. When does Yokohama Gundam close down permanently? This is right here. March 2024. Final call. Gundam Factory Yokohama is closing at the end of March 2024. That's it. The Gundam Factory is only open from December 19th, 2020 to March 31st, 2024. Heck no, dude. This ha this haven for mecha enthusiasts is a testament to Japanese engineering and will be bidding farewell to visitors on March 31st, 2024. No! I wanted to go to the Yokohama Gundam statue. It's the end of the month. Today's the last day. It's too late. If Even if I fly to Japan right now, it's going to take me like 11 hours to get there. And they're already like, you know, how many hours? Like 18, 14 hours ahead or something like that? No worries. I, I'm kidding. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm low-key bummed out. But there's still, there's still a lot of things to see. There's still a lot of things to see. But I was just... Oh, 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 sorry. It surprises me that such a tourist attraction was a temporary structure. I feel like if they kept it as a permanent structure, it would bring in a lot of income, to be honest. But I don't know. They had their reasons to not make it permanent. It is what it is. At least, I, I mean, at least there's videos. People have been there, you know. People that have been there, they made videos of it. So at least I get to see it on the computer. But, you know, it's nice to see it in, for, with your own eyes. All right, let's go ahead and open this again next day. Our shelves are running empty. We got to pay the bills. Hang on. How are we looking on this loan? Not looking too good with this loan. Wait, what the heck? What's going on with this? Okay, something's up. Bills? Bills? 
Why can't I pay the... Why is it not letting me pay the rent? That's odd. No worries. So with that being said, I spent the past two weeks off stream, you know, taking care of some real life stuff. But in addition to that, I was also doing a bit more research into the day-to-day -day recommendations of people who visit Japan. There's a Facebook group chat, I'm um, sorry, there's a Facebook group of Japan travels and stuff. It's very easy to find. Just type like Japan travelers guide group, you know, a group or something. People basically ask questions like, oh, I'm trying to go to this particular location on this day at this time. What do you think? And like, you know, 15 plus people would just comment saying, oh, that's a good idea or no, that's not a good idea. And people would recommend a specific time to go to certain places. One of the things I recently learned was that if you want to go to the uh, like the Tsukiji um, outer fish market or the fish market places, you're you need to go there first thing in the morning, like the first hour it opens anything after that two three four hours later after they open it's going to be packed so that's something i just learned i mean that's the recommendation and you know i'd rather be you know i don't want to deal with that but i think in general all the tourist attraction stuff is going to be crowded anyways but you know little stuff like that it's good to know so that you can plan your schedule accordingly and kind of prioritize at that point it's all about like i just need to prioritize which ones i really want to go first because the last thing i want is that we're spending our time in line or just feeling uncomfortable in very crowded situations so the point we're at right now with the schedule is that we're going to fine tune it. There's a lot more fine tuning that needs to be done. Basically, we got to re-sequence certain things throughout the day. Some things that I put at the afternoon, I might have to move it to the first thing in the morning to accommodate and to be, you know, kind of work around the crowded schedule that people are warning us about for a particular locations. And it's not a problem. It's just uh, I, I did not expect it to be this complicated. I should have known it was going to be this complicated to plan like a Japan itinerary. But I want this to be the best experience for, you know, me and the next the person that's going with me. You know, I, I, I'm trying to minimize risk and I'm trying to minimize scuffness of the trip. Now, of course, there's going to be a lot of time waste because we're going to get lost for sure. Hands down. I will do my best to do my homework before we get lost. But there will be a point where I think we're going to take the wrong train going the opposite direction. And then that's going to be like, that's going to kill an hour. Lesson learned. But it's got to happen to everybody at some point. Something that boggles me. Like, I, I can't pay this loan off. You see this? Oh, shoot. I forgot how to play this game. Okay, sorry. It was here. I thought I was going to get away with free rent, but no. You have to press this tab, the payments tab. So they were on us. Vodka? Somebody wanted to buy vodka. Oh, it's right here. $94? Holy cow. I, I think this goes on a shelf. I don't think you would put this like... Yeah, I was right. Oh, this person's already got the vodka. What are we selling this for? $12? $12 vodka. I really need a third cashier. This is getting hard to keep up with. Might need to buy some more cereal. Yeah, running out of that purple cereal. This one. Got myself Panda Express. I got a medium soda, 
But this thing is huge. Look how big this is. Let's get another fridge. Actually, no, no, we're good on fridges. think so far oh you know what oh yeah we're missing the, the we're gonna run out of this one the six pack water bottles or whatever those things are the milk six packs let's put them here one of the requests that I saw people ask about this game is like some type of computer system to allow you to see what extra inventory stock you have in the storage room so that you know what you need to buy if you want to be proactive and making sure your shelves are always constantly filled because the problem is that i wouldn't know what items i have unless i like literally just come up here and look at the picture i think that's a nice addition but i think the number one priority i think they should add is the automation system where the workers would automatically detect if there's like a new package here to pick up for you and then bring it into the storage room. I think that's number one priority. In my opinion, if they had to prioritize a, an, an update, I would do it like that first. That one and maybe that automation system that people are asking for where, you know, you would be able to see what items you have in storage electronically on your computer rather than going inside physically and looking at each, each of these signs. I really need a third cashier. Where can I get this? What does this mean? I don't know what that means. Supermarket simulator. What does complete checkout mean? Oh, I know what this is. I have to actually do the checkout myself. Oh, okay. That's fine. How do I like fire this guy? <laughs> if I can get this, this will be legit. That means what I need to get, I need $500 to get my own checkout counter. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this in here. I'm gonna wrap up with the next couple people. Then we're gonna get the third cashier. Then I'm gonna raise that number up and then we hire our third person. Sounds like a plan. Now, where would I put that? I think if I were to put it here, it's going to be tight. But there's just literally no other place I can put the, the third cashier. In order to hire a third cashier, I need to do... I need to actually physically check out items from customers manually for like another 500 times. Which I don't mind, but so be it. I wonder how big you can get the store. Because you got a management growth. back to expand the store it's eleven thousand dollars that's crazy just to expand it by another little section we have that means we have to really sell things all right this is what we're gonna do 
Let's quickly buy the third section. Let's pay the bills first. We're literally breaking even. I don't even know. <laughs> Screw it, let's open. This is the worst. This is by far the worst spot I put this. But I have to check out, I mean, once I unlock the third cashier, I'm gonna just remove this completely. guys are not doing anything. <gasps> Rob was out of bottles. Holy moly. Save the game. What else do we got? Oh shoot, we're almost out of coffee. See what I mean? Like, this is too hard. <laughs> They're buying things too fast. I gotta keep these guys moving. What is this? A customer's waiting for checkout. Heck yeah. Hang on, buddy. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, wait! $67. Not bad. Can I do like 17.1? No, it doesn't let you scan them. Good. All right, we're on a roll. What else do we need? We are low on coffee. We are running almost low on this right here. Yeah, well, we're gonna become bankrupt. We gotta move fast. Hang on, let's buy some more candy. <laughs> I'm gonna put this here, because right now I gotta check out people. I don't have enough time to restock my own now. We gotta take a, a very active approach on this now. We gotta delegate, we must delegate. Okay, just checking out what we got here. Hello, sir. Oh, oh! Good. We are getting rich. <gasps> We're out of cheese. Holy cavoli.
go. Insufficient change. Ha! I took us 50 cents. Giving him extra money. Gonna find pet. Wait, we ran out of the cakes? Oh, shoot. We just ran out of the cakes. Dude, they're buying us out. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Yeah. Not good. candy good let's check out this to see how we're doing because i want to buy a third i have to complete i have to self check out 900 times it's not scanning by the item it's it's per person that means i have to do this 500 more times to get a third cashier this is insane that is insane Bottled water is too expensive. No, I'm not. I'm not changing that price. <laughs> it's only fifty extra cents. Come on, people. Oh yes. What do we got? One dollar. Uh, give me twenty-five cents. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Four dollars. <laughs> Take a dollar. Oh, let's wait for the last few people. What do we got? Oh yes, we are gonna be making bank from this person right here. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yes, sir. Thank you for buying from this store. Please do come back to the sock supermarket. We are rich. We're getting out of debt. That's how we do it. so dark i want to get it more light but i don't know you, you can see all the lights are all here but it still feels dark we're coming out fifteen hundred dollars this is easy man look at this we're gonna pay off the bank boom done and uh let's see management bills take that or net eight hundred dollars we're doing pretty good doing pretty good Let's do a quick check to see what else we need to buy.
running out of coffee. Let's open the store. Good. You're doing really good. Let's buy some more of those water bottles there. Those milk, the six packs. That. A quick check to see what else we need to buy. Let's buy one vodka. A couple of that and two milks. Oh, shoot. Hang on. $66. Okay. Robbing them. Let's check on the status of this. Almost there. Two of that. Couldn't find the beer six pack. Ooh, that's expensive. We'll probably wrap it up after this one. I'm getting pretty sleepy tired. 
The work day is almost done. I think we'll make it to a thousand dollars tonight <laughs> for this one. Oh, this one. We're making bank on this person. We've got fifty-three ten. Good. Oh shoot, I just Oh no, I messed up. <laughs> she just took my money. I messed up. Wait, how did... Wait it says you can close it. Oh, you can close the checkout. Oh, okay. That's cool. Do our, our check right here for the growth, the hiring. 493. We gotta do this like 500 more times. That's crazy. It's a chill game, to be honest. Oh, dear me. Oh, $100. Hey, Soulhacks, welcome back. It's been a while. How are you doing? I'm just trying to sell us stuff in the supermarket, you know? Uh, so many people here. I think we're going to make it out with like $1,400 for this night. Did you get in on the Spartan Taco anniversary? I didn't. We're, wait, is this still going on? I didn't even know about it. Ends at 10 p.m.? Wait, so you're telling me I got T-minus two hours to do this. Two dollar crispy tacos? Dude, what? Crispy tacos for two dollars? What? I paid like five dollars. No, I, pay I remember paying four dollars for those before. Dude, only at the Blossom Hill okay? Oh, dude. Dude. I already ate though. I ate Panda Express earlier, so I'm very full. It, it must be extremely crowded there though. Like, it, how do I explain it? I'm pretty sure the line's off the charts at this point. People are just mass ordering like crispy tacos. To, and it's Easter. It's extremely crowded for Easter right now, everywhere. I think the supermarket is very successful. We, we're coming out $1,700. Like, even though we took a, a loan, which I was trying to stay away from, but we, we had to because I got tempted. We're fine. Before, we were struggling. To, we were about to go, like, in, not just in debt, but we were about to lose the business because we couldn't pay off the loan. This one is like, we, we can pay off the loan easy. We're making so much cash. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Happy Easter, so hex. All right, nineteen hundred dollars, not bad. How are we doing? Made one thousand dollar profit. Holy moly! I'm pretty proud of this team. So we're gonna pay off the loans and all the you know the stuff first, like the bills. 
So we starve with twelve hundred dollars. We're total. We we can totally pay off this loan. Hold on. Where's this loan at? We need to pay off four thousand dollars. Actually, no, no, right here. Three thirty-five hundred dollars left. This is. We need to do like three, uh, seven more work nights, work days, and then we'll pay off this five thousand loan. In the meantime, wow, the people really bought a lot of stuff right now. Anyways, I'm feeling pretty tired. I'm gonna call it a night. And yeah, thank you all for coming. I know it's been a long while. Happy Easter. I'll be back when I come back. <laughs> been busy again with real life. It's going to still be busy for the next month, two months or three months or four months. But the hope is that I wrap up everything by the summer. And then officially I will be a free man. <laughs> really so. Truly so. Anyways, y'all have a good one. Thanks so much for coming. We are store level 32, and we've, we've gone through a long way with this store. We've expanded the store so many times. And I'm really proud of the progress. Really proud of the progress. Oh, jeez. All right. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for coming. Peace out.